The Knight's Quest Through the Forest of Mastery by Kunal Ramchurn. In a kingdom shrouded in legend, there was a dense and enchanted forest where the trees whispered ancient secrets, and the path to mastery was hidden among the shadows. It was said that only those who ventured into this forest with true intention and clarity would find the courage and wisdom to complete their quests. Sir Eli, a valiant and determined knight, had always been drawn to the pursuit of valor and mastery. His latest quest was his most challenging yet, to rescue a princess held captive by a fearsome dragon. Sir Eli knew that to succeed, he needed more than just skill with his sword. He needed the right mindset and wisdom. Guided by the counsel of a revered sage named James, Sir Eli learned about a magical potion that could grant the strength and clarity needed for his quest. This potion, however, was not just a remedy. It was a symbol of adopting the right mindset and intention. James had imparted a timeless piece of wisdom. In a forest of a hundred thousand trees, no two leaves are alike, and no two journeys along the same path are alike. Sir Eli understood that if he wanted to save the princess, he needed to embrace this wisdom. With his decision made, Sir Eli ventured into the enchanted forest. He was accompanied by his loyal companions, a group of the Camelot guards, known for their strategic prowess and unique perspectives. Sir Eli's goal was clear, to understand the deeper why behind his quest rather than focusing solely on the how. Every day, Sir Eli concentrated on his why. He often asked himself, what drives me? The answer was unwavering the desire to rescue the princess and prove his valor. The how of achieving this feat was secondary to his resolute why. As Sir Eli journeyed deeper into the forest, he encountered various trials and temptations. The forest seemed to challenge him to act impulsively or to get lost in the mechanics of his quest. But Sir Eli was guided by a crucial lesson. Don't spend an equal amount of time thinking and acting. The thinking part is 99%. Thoughts are the most important part. He realized that many knights had failed their quests because they lacked clear intention and became too fixated on the how instead of the why. This understanding became Sir Eli's guiding star, ensuring he stayed true to his path. One fateful day, Sir Eli faced a daunting obstacle, an ancient enchantment that threatened to thwart his progress. Recalling an exercise he had learned, Sir Eli focused on shifting focus. Whenever he found himself fixating on the technicalities of battling the dragon, he would redirect his thoughts to the fundamental question, why do I need to rescue the princess? This shift in perspective renewed his courage and resolve. As Sir Eli pressed on, he cultivated an inner strength and determination that mirrored the qualities of a high-performing team, resilience, focus, and an unwavering commitment to the quest. This inner fortitude, fueled by the positive mental attitude spoken of by the sages, became his greatest ally. The forest, once a labyrinth of uncertainty, now appeared as a realm of opportunities. Ultimately, Sir Eli's journey through the forest was not just about rescuing the princess, but about understanding his own purpose and intentions. His quest became a testament to the power of focusing on the why building inner strength, and maintaining a positive mental attitude. Emerging from the forest victorious, Sir Eli had not only saved the princess, but also mastered the art of mindset and intention. The enchanted forest had taught him that the path to true success was as unique as each leaf and as personal as each journey. And so, Sir Eli's story became a beacon of inspiration for future knights guiding them through the forest and towards their own paths of mastery.